If we're to believe history, the Battle of Waterloo was won on the playing fields of Eton. But you know, a lot of people around here at Quarry Bank in the Black Country would argue with that. They say it was won here, on the pit bunks of Quarry Bank. A lady once asked the Duke of Wellington, do your troops frighten the French, my lord? The Duke thought and said, I don't know if they frighten the French, madam, but by God, they frighten me. And why did they frighten the French, and why did they concern his lordship? Because those troops trained and fought on grotty pudding. Now, what is grotty pudding? Inside the Robin Hood pub is Harry Harrison, black country poet, and he'll be telling us a bit about it. Well, in days of old, to keep out the cold, they made plenty grotty dick. It filled the bellies, and it stuck to the ribs, and it warmed them all a wick. <laughs> yes, Harry, but what is it? <laughs> what is it? It's a good old-fashioned black country dish, Peter. What goes into it? Well, there's uh, groats. Uh, hey, wait a minute. What? Groats. Oh, what are they, though? Well, I'm um, gro you know, groats and... Well, we'll know. let that pass, Harry. Go on, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you something. You don't want to have two helpings if you're going swimming in the put out, pal. Well, that I shan't <laughs> do, Harry. <laughs> Tonight's a, a very big night, isn't it? Yes, The it World is. Championship. Yeah. yeah. For Groaty, Groaty Dick. Groaty Dick, yes. That's Groaty our passion black country saying, Groaty Dick, yes. So I suppose they've been pretty busy all round here in all sorts of ways getting ready for it. Oh, well, there's, there's quite a few secret recipes going on and... One or two preparations, you know, that's very, very interesting, and I'm sure I'm going to have a great night. Now, there's one fellow, he runs a mobile canteen. He's at it as well. What's he trying to do? Is he, is he in the export business? <laughs> could well be. I think we could, uh, we could do well starting to export some of this. Uh, because it's, it's, it, it's a local dish, isn't it? Oh, it's pretty local. But if he Glory picks up dish. some of these lorry drivers going south, no. uh, who knows? Well, I'll have it, have it loud on when they go away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Beatrup, Harry was talking about groats. What are groats? Well, it's kind of cereal. But you don't use groats, do you? No. What do you use? Pearl barley. Is that cheating a bit? No, I prefer it. And what else goes in there? Scrag of lamb, carrots, parsnips, leeks. Which is the most important bit? Oh, scrag of lamb. Is it? Yes, that's where you get all your flavour from. That's the cheapest cut. That's the, definitely the cheapest, yeah. And, of course, this is the great virtue of Grotty Dick, isn't it? It uh, doesn't cost a lot. Big families, hard times. It was a good meal. Yes. You're a bit of a dab at this. You won a national competition one time, didn't you? Yes. Now, tonight is the World Championship. Are you going to win that, do you think? Well, I'd like to, but... There's a lot of opposition. Quite. Kitchens all over the black country, women are slaving over a hot stove, all trying to do you down. Do you think you're going to make it? I don't know. And some people, of course, are so secret that they prepare the stuff in very private places. Is it taking it a bit far, Charles? Is there something special in this? Very special, this is very special. What's your secret ingredient? Oh, my God, that's well, what... Well, it, 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 it's the timber, really. It's the timber as <laughs> does it. <laughs> see, what, see what you mean, yeah? Oh, God. Are you going to win it? Oh, without a doubt, this will win it. I Traditional, Liz. If you don't suffocate. Oh, you get used to that, Peter. You get Charles, you're that. a bit of a mountaineer, aren't you? Well, you know I've been known to go up the side of Everest and Triffin, you know. I'm told that this stuff was taken up Everest, wasn't it? It was indeed, but they never took it on the last part because, uh, you see, the thing is that I never got to the top. It's very heavy on the stomach, like. I see, yeah. And you followed that recipe? Oh, I followed this recipe. It's as ancient, this is. Ancient. Well, let's have a go at it. Oh, beautiful stuff. You try that, Pete. Try a bit in there first, but have a bit on the spoon after. Go oh. Because that's got the real wood taste. <laughs> Where do you think it gets its quality? Oh, it's the wood. Is Definitely it? the wood. I don't think I could climb the reeking after this. Reeking? You couldn't climb a quarry bonkil after this. Oh. 